Well, hello, everyone. My name is Audrey Scanlon. I'm the Bishop of the Episcopal Diocese of Central Pennsylvania. And today we have a very special guest. I think I might have given you a hint last Friday about the guests that we were going to have today. Uh, we have Zach Wagner Pizza joining us. Hi, Zach. Hi. Great to have you with us. We're also hoping to have um, Ava with us, who's also a member of your church. But um, she ended up getting called into work today. So, right, right, yeah. Such is the life of a teenager, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, we're really glad that you made time for us today because I'm interested in talking with you about some of the youth events that you've been to and about a big event that's coming up at the end of June that you'll be part of. But before we get started, tell us um, where you go to church and what you do there. Are you an acolyte or what? what's going on at the church that you go to? Right. Yeah. So I go to Trinity Pro Cathedral in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Um, I used to be and Alkalite um, when I was younger, but now I mostly record uh, on our Facebook page for the church. I record most of the services there. So yeah, that's what I mostly do for the church now. Cool. I remember uh, I remember one of my very first visits to, to Trinity, you and your brother were Acolytes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're having a good time too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you've just come back a couple of weeks ago from a provincial event that we're calling PYE. We'll let you tell us what that means. But as we talk about that, um, I guess people should know that there are nine different provinces or regional groupings in the Episcopal Church. And we are a member of province three, which is the mid-Atlantic states. And so this event that you went to, PYE, tell us what that means and, and what it was all about. Yeah, so PYE stands for uh, Providence Youth Event, um, or specifically for Province 3, as you said. Mm -hmm. So uh, I had um, the opportunity to be part of this planning committee for this PYE that we held this year. And it was me and a bunch of other youth from the Providence um, there were kids from the Diocese of Southwest Virginia. Um, I know there was maybe one or two from Maryland. And of course, me and Ava and Evan were from Central PI, uh, the Central PA Diocese. So all of us as a committee, uh, with the help of a few uh, adult mentors, uh, were planning this weekend retreat. Um, it was held in Virginia. And it was so that youth from uh, the Providence could uh, have this retreat to go to and have a fun time there uh, and it was planned by youth so you could you could almost rely on that in a sense that like yeah you'll you I think you'll have a good time there it was really it was a really great opportunity yeah so what were some of the activities that you did yeah so uh we had lots of music um a lot of it was inspired from the Episcopal Youth event that was also held recently in Maryland um, but yeah, we had plenty of music. Um, of course, there was worship every day, uh, but we made sure that that wasn't, you know, something to dread or anything. We also, we we had um, some very, um, uh, a very good speaker there. Uh, a lot of the youth spoke there too. But of course, most of the activities, playing games, uh, really just enjoying that nice weather uh, that you get in early spring in Virginia. It was uh, really nice out for the most part. And just kind of, following our theme of peace that was the theme for the for most of the weekend so you know you just kind of had had a fun time met people that you don't really see around your state or anything like that and you just connected because of that is it hard when you go to something like that to make friends with other other um, kids right away or what kind of activities kind of get you to meet other people yeah, um, for sure. I could tell the first time when I was meeting everybody that everyone was just a little awkward and all of that, which is totally okay. It was we were totally expecting um, stuff like that to happen. So while there were a few icebreaker games, you kind of got to meet everybody there. Um, you're also sharing a cabin with people because you're staying uh, there for two nights. You're meeting these people, but you're also, you know, you also have some of those familiar faces from your own diocese that you might see sometimes. 
but really we were all connecting kind of just like hey we're all at this youth retreat together we all have this kind of bond these were all episcopalians and we're all youth here and we all just really wanted to have a fun time doing this um i remember a lot of the kids there were at eye so it was kind of just like hey like i want to do this event kind of thing again um and meet other kids mm -hmm. so yeah i really i really feel like it might have been awkward in the beginning but really we definitely found a lot of connections uh throughout the whole weekend and really everyone got to know each other everyone bonded really nice it was it was a really great time and i would i would imagine because i've been on a few retreats in my day that there was probably a good balance of fun stuff that you did but also you mentioned the theme of peace so you must have done some workshops or thinking about that or praying about it what did you do with that theme yeah um so really we had um two and a half days uh to kind of spend talking about that theme so uh there was three themes and there was inward peace there was outward peace and there was upward peace and we kind of separated those into the the two and a half days that we had with everybody but as you mentioned workshops that was a really good one mm -hmm. uh because we had the nice weather the, uh, even if it was a little chilly out some nights we still were able to have a group time around a fire or look at the stars at night. It was really, really nice. Um, but we made sure that there was enough activities for everyone to maybe find their own type of peace. Because I know peace doesn't look the same for everybody. Um, so we maybe had some quiet time. Maybe we had some games that people like to enjoy or crafts that people like to enjoy. Um, so I really like the stargazing um, as an example. That was really nice. There wasn't a lot of light pollution so you could see uh stars that you don't normally see if you live in more urban areas uh so it, like yeah it was really peaceful um i know when i heard a lot of feedback from the people who went and participated that they at least found one thing that they found to really enjoy um over that weekend yeah sounds great i'm i'm a little jealous zach yeah I, I, it was I really fun it. yeah I could use a weekend of like games and, and friends. <laughs> exactly, and right. <laughs> finding peace. That that sounds pretty great. Well, you you reference EYE, which of course is the Episcopal Youth Event, which is for all of the Episcopal Church. Um, and we have another event that's coming up this summer, and I know you're going to be at that too. So uh, we have a general convention. Usually it's every three years. Uh, it's only been two years that we last had convention. We're catching up from COVID still. And as you know, each diocese across the Episcopal Church sends their bishop and then elected deputies to convention. But then there's another group of people that are selected from across the church to attend by an application process, I'm, I'm remembering. And that's the youth delegation, or is it a de delegation or deputation? But you're you're one of them. Yeah, I am. I am. That is so awesome. So tell us, what was that application process like and, and what will you be doing at General Convention? Yeah, so I heard about this application from the Episcopal Use event um, in Maryland uh, and I fit the age requirements and all of that. So I was like, hey, I'll give it a shot. I really want to see uh, or attend the General Convention at least once in my life as a youth or something like that. Mm -hmm. um to really just experience that um so yeah so i i um had to write a short little essay about you know my my participation in church and how my community has affected me and how i affect my community back um a lot of stuff like that and uh i was selected and i was super excited about that it was really great um, we had a little planning thing back in January, February, um, where I met the other uh, applicants who were selected. They were all great people from around the country um, and from around the world. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we we are like planning to write testimonies um, about specific resolutions we might see at a uh, general convention. It was really a great time to meet all of those people, yeah. 
How many how many youth are there in the in the delegation? There are two from each uh, province, so eighteen total. Okay, great. Well, you will have to make sure that you all come into the House of Bishops. There's a gallery where you can sit and watch us doing our work, and I'll wave at you if you do that. Yes, of course. I'll, I'll be sure to see you there. Yeah. <laughs> that would be great. Um, Zach, every Sunday when I go to church, I meet, usually meet with the vestry afterwards. And every Sunday, the number one question that people want to know is, how can we get more young people to come to church? <laughs> so I want to take advantage of the fact that you're here with us. And I don't want to put you on the spot for speaking for every young person in the Episcopal Church. But but tell us, um, what do you think the church should know about young people today? Because Because it's been a while since... Most of us were young. Um, yeah. So uh, I'm just going to, well, I, I, yeah, like you said, I don't want to speak for all young people here. Um, but yeah. from my experiences, talking to friends I have that are in church um, and just, just experiences that I've had personally, um, sometimes like we, with social media and everything, you hear it a lot. Like our lives get really hectic. Uh, stressful sometimes even um, I don't want to put too much negativity on that because there's a lot to enjoy too mm -hmm. um, but when I realized like how my life was getting a little stressful or things like that I really enjoyed going to church more um, it was really just more of a, a peaceful place that I found myself in and um, I was really glad that my church was accepting of that and that I could find my connection with God there. And when I'm talking about this to other uh, youth that I met, especially at PYE and EYE, they have the same stories or at least similar stories to me. And they're also really like, yeah, like I find peace at church or at least I find peace with my own connection with God that, you know, that, that comes within me or comes within them. So I really think that's important to emphasize uh, when it comes to younger generations. Yeah, thank you for that. If you could change anything about church, what what would it be? Something that might make it more meaningful for you? Yeah. Um, would you double the length of the sermon? <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> say that. I don't know if a lot of people would agree with me on that either. Um, I know. I, I mean, obviously, um, a lot of services are different mm -hmm. and all of that. I really enjoy a lot of the a lot of the music that was at EYE and PYE. Mm -hmm. um, of course, more modern music that that category kind of falls into and everything. Um, so seeing that, not of course, it doesn't have to be every Sunday, but just seeing that more, a little more, I would really enjoy. And I feel like it would also attract uh, younger people. Nothing wrong with the, you know the the old liturgy and all the old hymns and everything because I also there's also plenty of times where I enjoy that stuff too um so but like a, a good balance between the two uh I, I really feel like would improve my experience at the church nice thank you for that it's yeah good, it's good to hear from from you um before we get to what I call the lightning round of questions <laughs> and then our closing prayer, tell us, um, you are a senior this year, right? Yes, I am. Yeah. Uh, so what's going to happen next year? Well, I am planning to go to Villanova University. Um, and if anyone doesn't know where that is, that's um, outside Philadelphia. Um, but yeah, I am planning to major in statistics there. Um, yeah, and I, um, that's the plan right now. So we'll see where that goes. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited for all of that. Statistics. I, I am impressed. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I was a psych major in college and I had to take two statistics classes and they were the two hardest classes I took. It's just not <laughs> the way my brain works. So I, I am humbled by you. That's awesome. All Thank right, well, listen, here's the here's the lightning round. Okay. You just have to answer the first first thing that don't don't overthink it. Do you prefer okay. sweet or salty snacks? Sweet. 
What is your favorite sport? Soccer. What is your favorite uh, flavor of ice cream? Uh, probably chocolate, yeah. Do you prefer the mountains or the beach? Uh, the beach, I'd say, yeah. Okay, uh, Coke or Pepsi? I don't drink soda, so neither. Awesome. <laughs> uh, cake or pie? Cake. Okay, what's your favorite subject in school? Uh, math, yeah, <laughs> go figure. <laughs> Could have guessed that. Uh, <laughs> if you could buy any car in the whole world, what would you buy? Mm, probably a Porsche. I'm not really sure, but that would probably be my dream car. Sweet. And last one, if you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Um, My dream vacation would be like an all around trip to the, Med to the Mediterranean. Uh, like Greece and Italy and all those places, that would be a really cool spot. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that sounds good to me, too. Yeah, definitely. Well, I am really, really glad we had a chance to chat with you today. Anything you want to throw in before we have a closing prayer? Uh, no, but thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Yeah, it's been fun. Well, because you have traveled and because you're going to travel to General Convention in Louisville, um, I thought I would pray the prayer for travelers out of our prayer book. Every week I pick a different prayer. And um, I don't think we've prayed this one yet. So here we go. Oh God, our Heavenly Father, whose glory fills the whole creation and whose presence we find wherever we go, Preserve those who travel, especially those who will be going to General Convention this summer. Surround them with your loving care, protect them from every danger, and bring them in safety to their journeys and through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Zach, thank you for being with us. And um, you can look for this video to come out Friday. Yeah, yeah. Stop recording now. So hang on.